things. There's an image that everybody's familiar with of uh, what a veteran is. As you can see in this, this picture, you see a young, brave, patriotic, fit, uh, uniform service member. But in the transition from being in uniform to getting out of uniform, there's a lot of stuff to the uniform covers that hides. What I'm going to tell you guys today is about the veteran transition and the struggles that go with that uh, time period for a service member and the resources that are available for them. Okay. Uh, many veterans could find themselves looking for help during their transition period. I am one of those veterans that I found it uneasy uh, once I retired to make the move from being in the military for 20 plus years into a civilian life like everybody else does. So I'm going to tell you guys about what has been done and what is being done. Uh, I'm going to tell you about what the city of Phoenix has done. Uh, one of the things that the city of Phoenix has done is they have been the trailblazers in implementing a lot of aid for veterans uh, to battle homelessness. So uh, they have committed enough money to make a noticeable difference. Uh, in, for example, they built more veteran homes, soup kitchens, temporary housing, assisting living. And one of the things that they have done as well is that they have dedicated one day for all the organizations across the region to come down to one arena or one sport complex, and it's called the Veteran Stand Down, uh, where there's a lot of nonprofit organizations that provide help when needed. What else can uh, be done? One of the things that also is happening, veterans are being identified prior to them being discharged from the military. During that transition period, Treatment is made available throughout, prior to them getting out and while they are already out uh, and starting their civilian life outside the uniform. Continuous treatment means that the medical service in the, in, in the military is communicating with the civilian sector of medical service uh, and, and aid that is being provided for these soldiers. In addition to that, one of the things that's also been happening is that a lot of agencies, a lot of jobs are hiring veterans first. They are giving veterans uh, credit for their experience and they're converting that experience into civilian qualifications for that job. <coughs> I've covered some of the resources that uh, that are intended to help veterans get back on their feet. Even though there's only a few, um, I, was, I hope that I was able to open up uh, a little bit more of knowledge of what these veterans have to go through from being in the military to joining the civilian life. Thank you. <laughs>